Shofatim, Judges 9. And Avimelech, the son of Yara Baal, went to Shechem, unto his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Shechem, whether is better for you, either that all the sons of Yerabaal, which are threescore and ten persons, reign over you, or that one reign over you. Remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. And his mother's brethren spoke of him in the ears of all the men of Shechem, eth all these words, and their hearts inclined to follow Avimelech, for they said, He is our brother. And they gave him three score and ten pieces of silver out of the house of Baal Barith, wherewith Avimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. And he went unto his father's house at Ophrah, and slew eth his brethren, the sons of Yara Baal, being threescore and ten persons, upon one stone. Notwithstanding yet, Yotham, the youngest son of Yara Baal, was left, for he hid himself. And all the men of Shechem gathered together, and all the house of Milo, and went and made Eth Avimelech king by the plain of the pillar that was in Shechem. And when they told it to Yotham, he went and stood in the top of the mount Gerizim, and lifted up his voice and cried and said unto them, Hearken unto me, ye men of Shechem, that Elohim may hearken unto you. The trees went forth on a time to anoint a king over them, and they said unto the olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree said unto them, Should I leave at my fatness, wherewith by me they honor Elohim and man, and go to be promoted over them, rather over the trees? And the trees said to the fig tree, Come and reign over us. But the fig tree said unto them, Should I forsake eth my sweetness, and eth my good fruit, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then said the trees unto the vine, Come and reign over us. And the vine said unto them, Should I leave eth my wine, which cheers Elohim and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then said all the trees unto the bramble, Come and reign over us. And the bramble said unto the trees, If in truth ye anoint me king over you, then come and put your trust in my shadow. And if not, let fire come out of the bramble, and devour eth the cedars of Lebanon. Now therefore, if ye have done truly and sincerely, in that ye have made Eth Avimelech king, and if ye have dealt well with Yerabaal in his, and his house, and have done unto him according to the deserving of his hands. For my father fought for you, and adventured Eth his life far, and delivered you out of the hand of Midian. And ye are risen up against my father's house this day, and have slain eth his sons, threescore and ten persons, upon one stone, and have made eth Avimelech, the son of his maidservant, king over the men of Shechem, because he is your brother. If ye then have dealt truly and sincerely with Yerubbaal and with his house this day, then rejoice ye in Avimelech, and let him also rejoice in you. But if not, let fire come out from Avimelech, and devour eth the men of Shechem, and eth the house of Milo. And let fire come out from the men of Shechem, and from the house of Milo. 
and devoureth Avimelech. And Yotham ran away and fled, and went to Be'er, and dwelt there, for fear of Avimelech his brother. When Avimelech had reigned three years over Yashereel, then Elohim sent an evil ruach between Avimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Avimelech. That the cruelty done to the threescore and ten sons of Yerub Baal might come, and their blood be laid upon Avimelech their brother, which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, eth which aided him in the killing of eth his brethren. And the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed eth all that came along that way by them, and it was told of Imelech. And Gaal the son of Eved came with his brethren and went over to Shechem, and the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. And they went out into the fields and gathered at their vineyards and trod the, trod the grapes and made merry and went into the house of their Elohim and did eat and drink and cursed Eth Avimelech. And Gaal the son of Eved said, Who is Avimelech and who is Shechem? that we should serve him. Is not he the son of Yerub Baal and Zavol his officer? Serve at the men of Chamor, the father of Shechem, for why should we serve him? And would to Elohim at this people were under my hand, then would I remove at Avimelech. And he said to Avimelech, Increase your army and come out. And when Zavol, the ruler of the city, heard Eth the words of Gaal, the son of Eved, his anger was kindled, and he sent messengers unto Avimelech privily, saying, Behold, Gaal, the son of Eved, and his brethren have come to Shechem, and behold, they fortify Eth the city against you. Now therefore up by night, you and the people that is with you, and lie in wait in the field. And it shall be that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, you shall rise early and set upon the city. And behold, when he and the people that is with him come out against you, then may you do to them as you shall find occasion. And Avimelech rose up, and all the people that were with him by night, and they laid wait against Shechem in four companies. And Gaal the son of Eved went out and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And Avimelech rose up, and the people that were with him from lying in wait. And when Gaal saw Eth the people, he said to Zavol, Behold, there come people down from the top of the mountains. And Zavol said unto him, Eth you see the shadow of the mountains as if they were men. And Gaal spoke again and said, See, there come people down by the middle of the land, and another company come along by the plain of Me'onaim. Then said Zavol unto him, Where is now your mouth, wherewith you said, Who is Avimelech, that we should serve him? Is not this the people that you have despised? Go out, I pray now, and fight with them. And Gaal went out before the men of Shechem and fought with Avimelech. And Avimelech chased him, and he fled before him, and many were overthrown and wounded, even unto the entering of the gate. And Avimelech dwelt at Arumah, and Zavol thrust out at Gaal, and Eth his brethren, that they should not dwell in Shechem. And it came to pass on the morrow, 
that the people went out into the field, and they told Avimelech. And he took at the people, and divided them into three companies, and laid wait in the field, and looked, and behold, the people were come forth out of the city. And he rose up against them, and smote them. And Avimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields, and slew them. And Avimelech fought against the city all that day. And he took Eth the city, and slew Eth the people that was therein, and beat down Eth the city, and sowed it with salt. And when all the men of the tower of Shechem heard that, they entered into a hold of the house of the El Barith. And it was told of Imelech that all the men of the tower of Shechem were gathered together. And Avimelech got him up to the Mount Salman, he and all the people that were with him. And Avimelech took Eth an axe in his hand, and cut down a bow from the trees, and took it, and laid it on his shoulder, and said unto the people that were with him, What ye have seen me do, make haste, and do as I have done. And all the people likewise cut down every man his bow and followed Avimelech and put them to the hold and set at the hold on fire upon them so that all the men of the tower of Shechem died also, about a thousand men and women. Then went Avimelech to Tevetz and encamped against Tevetz and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city and thither fled all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shut it to them, and got them up to the top of the tower. And Avimelech came unto the tower, and fought against it, and went hard unto the door of the tower, to burn it with fire. And a certain woman cast a piece of a millstone upon Avimelech's head, and all to break at his skull, and then he called hastily unto the young man, his armor-bearer, and said unto him, Draw your sword and slay me, that men say not of me, A woman slew him. And his young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the men of Yashadael saw that Avimelech was dead, they departed every man unto his place. Thus Elohim rendered Eth the wickedness of Avimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying Eth his seventy brethren. And Eth all the evil of the men of Shechem did Elohim render upon their heads, and upon them came the curse of Yotham, the son of Yerub Baal.